going to wash my hands. To begin, I'm going to take my medical administration record and my physician's order to verify the right medication is going to be administered. And I have Kelly Jackson, April 20th, 9 a.m. She is receiving a subcutaneous shot of heparin for 3,000 units. And I have that right here. It is not expired. And then an intramuscular of Reseptin for 750 milligrams. I have that right here. It's not expired either. So I'm going to drop my injection. I'm going to start with the intramuscular Reseptin. The order calls for 750 milligrams, and the vial is available in 500 milligrams per milliliter. So that's going to convert to 1.5 milliliters. I'm going to use a 3 millimeter syringe. I'm going to take my alcohol swab, the top of that. I'm going to drop some air for it. And I'm going to drop the 1.5 milliliters. And I just like to double check for any air bubbles and looks good to go. Going to cap that. All right. And then for the intramuscular, you want to get a fresh needle tip. Not the same one that you use to drop the medication. And then for the heparin, in ordered 300 units, what's available is going to be 5,000 units per milliliter. So that converts to 0.6 milliliters. I'm using a one milliliter syringe. I'm going to again disinfect the vial and then pull out the air for it. All right, and I'm going to measure out 0.6. All right, and 0.6 milliliters. Double check for air bubbles. All right, now, since I have my, medic my medication drawn up, I'm just going to verify the medical history, medications, age, height, weight, of my patient, um, also along with the allergies. And now I'm going to review the lab results. The PTT is pertinent with the heparin and the white blood cell count is um, pertinent with the Mercephin. So I'm going to make sure I have my needles, my vial, an alcohol and cows wipe, and my gloves. And I'm going to go take this to my patient's room and knock. My name is Julia. I'm going to be your nurse today. I am going to be administering your injections. Can you verify your name and date of birth? Um, all right. And wash my hands and now I have a name and date of birth for the third time. I'm going to verify that it is Miss Kelly Jackson, April 20th, 9 a.m. 3,000 units sub-Q of heparin, 750 milligrams IM of Recephin. I'm going to get some information from the patient. Um, does she have any allergies? Has she had this medication before? Does she know what this medication is for? I would tell her the heparin is a uh, blood thinner to prevent from clots from forming. And then the rosefin is a antibiotic for a bacterial infection. I would ask her when was her last injection? Where was it? I have to rotate where she would have it last if she did. Now that I have this information, I'm grabbing my gloves and putting them on. And I would put my patient for the recephin, the intramuscular, in supine position. There's two different areas. I could do the ventral gluteal. I would take my palm and put it on the greater trochanter. My thumb would be towards the groin, index finger towards the uh, superior iliac crest, make a V. This would be my target area. I'm choosing to do my shot today on the um, um, vastus lateris site, and that's on the thigh. She had it on the right last time I do it on the left this time. Divide that into three areas, put four fingers above the patella, four fingers in the trochanter. That middle area is going to be my target area. I am going 
to palpate and inspect for any bruising at all. If not, I'm good to go on this area. Take my alcohol swab from the middle, going out. Now you're gonna have to do, um, for intramuscular, a Z-track method. We're gonna do 90 degree angle. Pull the skin, the muscle back, insert it. And you do it for five, four, three, two, one. And then you hold it in there for another five, four, three, two, one. All right, my non-dominant hand, I'm gonna apply gauze. I'm going to cap this needle. Put it in the sharps container. After I give the injection, I'm going to inspect, palpate for any tenderness, make sure that the shot went in there all right. Now my second injection is going to be the heparin. This is a subcutaneous injection. Normally you can do sub Q in the abdomen or the lateral aspects of the arm. Since this is heparin, the only appropriate site is the abdomen. Um, two inches from the umbilicus to figure out my target side, I put my pinky in the belly button and three fingers away. It's gonna be two inches. Make sure the patient's in subine position. Make sure the patient is comfortable. And once I verify all of that, Depending on the patient's height and weight, if they are a little overweight, I, was, I would have to do a 90 degree angle for the injection. But my patient is, we're gonna say 120, 52, I do a 45 degree. And when you do subcutaneous, you need to get at least an inch. All right, and I'm going to get my swab from the middle, circulating out of the area. Have my gauze wipe on hand. I'm going to squeeze and inject at a 45 degree angle. Release some pressure. Grab this. Dispose in a sharps container. I'm going to palpate and inspect for any bruising or tenderness that might have happened. I'm going to lower the bed, raise the side rails, give my patient back their belongings and I'm going to ask them what their pain level is. And that's all, wash my hands and clean up my area.